I'm making the trundle bed for a quadruple bunk bed that I'm building. And right now I'm about to make my first cut for the whole bunk bed. It starts with the trundle. And uh, I'm going to make it and it should be pretty good. Alright, typically you don't want stuff to go uh, where the knot is, but that just happens to be where it's going to land. So I'm cutting cross boards to help support the bed. And I got a 37 and a half inch section. You always want to measure twice and cut once. What I did was, because I know this is more than three feet, I went ahead and got a 10 foot board. Now the 10 foot board, I'll get three pieces with a little bit of chunk left over. Because I'm filming this myself, it's gonna be really hard for me to show you as I cut, but this was a precision cut right here. A nice finished cut with the, uh, with the jigsaw. Um, so I'm going to show you the blade that I got. There you go. Clean cut blade. And this is the kit I got it out of. As you can see, the one that's missing, the clean cut, is the one that I used. It's very short, uh, but it did the job. did it really well. Th thanks, Bosch. I got the 2x3 to support the trundle. But I also got it because I need something that can hold the casters. I got these caster wheels. These ones are supposed to hold at least 90 pounds each caster. There's going to be an effect that once you put all four casters down, I don't believe that it will actually hold uh, 360 pounds just because I have four of these. Um, however, it, it probably is a fraction of that. I would imagine it will probably hold a 250 pound person with four of these casters holding up the wood, um, even though it's rated 90 pounds per caster. All right, so I've got four cross boards and I've got two of the side beams. All right, now that you've seen my plans, I'm gonna pre-drill the holes to make sure everything fits right. All right, so I'm sure people do this different ways, but this is how I figure out which drill bit to use to pre-drill the hole. So I line them up like that. It's okay, that shaft, that drill bit, kind of matches up. So that's probably the one I'll use. What is that? 1.98 millimeters is, I think is what it says. Yeah, 1.98 millimeters. So that one I know lines up. But that one looks even better. So I want it to grip, but I also want it to have an easy way in. So probably 2.38 millimeters. Well, for the American side, 330 seconds. All right, so what you see me do is I went ahead and put on a piece of tape there on the end of my drill bit. And what that does is it allows me to know when to stop. So that while I'm drilling, I can say, okay, yep, that's far enough. And that the screw drilling in the rest of the way. I've drawn the lines all the way across. All of them have the lines where the boards are supposed to be. Now I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill. Alright, so I'm all done. All done with the trundle. I just got the, the wheels on. Here's an example of one for you. You can see the other one in the background. I made this a nice little box there. I used 1x6s, I used 1x4s, 2x3s, and, um, and four casters. So that's it. That's the end of my trundle bed until I get the rest of the quadruple bunk bed started, and I'm gonna angle the I'm gonna angle the wood, the, the exterior, uh, the finish wood. That way, whenever you pull, whenever you push it in, it just blends in with the rest of the wood behind it. So I want it to be a hiding trundle bed. All right. See you next time.